Hey, Paul and Will, Stogie Geeks. I really love your show. I mean, it's awesome, right, guys? I really think uh, right now you guys are a box split, which really isn't bad rating for a show. And I think down the road you could become a, a box buy or possibly even a fight Chuck Norris. I mean, you guys are really the bell of the ball. You're just awesome, dude. You guys are awesome. So happy anniversary, and just keep up the good work, guys. Thanks. Uh, Juan, are you ready to play five questions with the Stogie Geeks? Oof. Uh, should I get intimidated? Um, you know, you won't have much time to think about it because we're going to get right <laughs> into them. So, uh, right. Juan, three words to describe yourself. Uh, three words to describe myself. Uh, driven, committed, uh, and trustworthy. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? I would say my hands. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Too early, too early, too early to answer that one. Yeah. <laughs> In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Is that a popular game? I <laughs> In Europe, it's <laughs> very popular in Europe. Yes. Grabby Grabby, go first or second? Yes. Ask Grabby uh, Grabby. I I would go first. Pick two celebrities to be your parents. Uh, two celebrities to be my parents. Uh, uh, Dr. Cuenca would be the first to be my father. Uh, and uh, my mother would be... Uh, I actually... I don't remember the name of this lady. She's an actress, a uh, very beautiful actress. Angelina Jolie, because that's who no, I would pick. No, no, me. it's it's an older lady. Betty uh, White, because that's actually was my answer to the question. Was Betty White? <laughs> you can steal my answer. It's totally fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that one. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> and you, I don't think you guys have played five questions with the Stogie Geeks last time. Oh. I don't think we did the word we go. this last time. No, we, we didn't implement that last time. Okay, so we're going to alternate, and I'm still going to ask question four, uh, even though Will told me not to, because that's just how I roll. Um, okay. So, uh, I'll, thug life. Here we go. Hashtag so I'm going gonna, gonna to ask you guys questions. Uh, I'll ask. I'll start with uh, Chris first, and then I'll ask Kyle, and then I'll switch the order. And I know that's probably confusing, but that's all part of five questions. So, Chris... <laughs> Three yeah. words to describe yourself. Three words to describe myself. See, I get to think about it. Uh, uh, Christ follower, patriot, dirt. Kyle? Uh, Chris took mine. No, um... I would say <laughs> that's three words. Chris took mine. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> right? <laughs> See, <laughs> I would say a disciple because our faith is obviously first and foremost. Or I would, or I'll just say faith. Um, America and family. Kyle, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? <laughs> Serial killer, what would be my weapon? <laughs> Shoot, man, you guys aren't playing, man. No, it's it's a hypothetical, you know. What would be my weapon? Um This this is one of the easy ones, Kyle, just so you know. This is easy? Yeah. <laughs> I've never thought of how to kill people before. I'm they sorry. Get progressively you really, really stumped me here. They get progressively harder as we go through, and there's five. <laughs> we're only on two. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Chris, let me think about that Okay, quick. Chris, yeah, if on. you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Carbon I monoxide. Okay, Kyle, he didn't, <laughs> give, you he didn't give you much time. <laughs> Aspartame. <laughs> Okay, uh, so now we're back on. We're back on Chris. Chris, if you were to book hey. about yourself, what would the title be? Uh, you have to ask that question again. I apologize. Uh, sorry, if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Horse crap. <laughs> I would buy that, Kyle. <laughs> you gotta see. <laughs> 
<laughs> horse crap. See, Kyle's all intellectual. That's the difference between the two of us. He's all cranial, dude. And I'm just like, keep it simple, stupid. Just, <laughs> it would be called Tobacco Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't someone idea. have a trademark for that? Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, Kyle, in the that's what Logan used to call me until someone got offended, and then he changed it to I don't even know what. Remember Logan Flawless <laughs> Cigar, Cigar Federation? Yeah. So, Kyle, the in the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Oh, first. Ooh, I don't. I don't do sloppy me. seconds, bro. No. Oh first. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm big spoon. It's, yeah. Chris. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm always the aggressor, definitely. In in any ass grabbing session between Kyle and I, I'm I'm definitely the one leading that dance. <laughs> Kyle and I, when did that come into play? That wasn't part of the question, you freak. <laughs> I see you guys have played the game before. That's excellent. It's popular. I was hey, the you extrapolated. You weren't allowed to extrapolate. <laughs> so Chris, choose two celebrities to be your parents. Two celebrities to be my parents. Clint Eastwood. And uh, Clint Eastwood and Barbara Bush. Kyle. Daggum, these do get harder, man. Yeah, this is the most difficult one. I will give this one to you. This one is not an easy question. I have yeah, to I don't, think about See, here's one. the thing, man. I don't follow, like, celebrity stuff. What I don't care. Man. I got a life. Okay, I don't need to live vicariously through who was ever on the – Celebrity shows or whatever they, whatever these kids are doing nowadays. It, um, it can be. Dude, they're not looking for excuses. They're looking for answers, bro. <laughs> dude, I'm they're trying to buy myself some time. So, shuddy. <laughs> it can be an actor, an actress, a person from history, trying to make it easier for you, person Kyle, from, and also yeah. buy you time so that you have time to think about it. So if it could be a person from you know, history, man. yeah, like Pee Wee Herman. I mean, he can be your daddy. <laughs> So, that's so nasty, dude. Uh, <laughs> that is possibly one of the worst answers I've ever heard in being Yeah, that's Herman. really, really <laughs> jacked up. Um, I would say that I would like to have uh, – my, my dad would uh, – my dad would be my dad, actually. I, I got a really good dad. But um, uh, I would say George Washington, if we can go for history. Sure. That'd be cool. Um, and then mom, yeah. uh, I guess Mrs. Washington, man, because shoot. Why not? She seemed like a good lady. Awesome. He, and George Washington, he made whiskey, man. That's right. That's true. He didn't That's true. That did. So, Aaron. Yep. Three words to describe yourself. Uh, badass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We just start right out. That's awesome, Emmett. I can't top that, dude. That's, <laughs> yeah. I, and now I it's not a contest. You I don't have to top each other. No, you can't. You we can't are not under FCC regulation either. That's so right. you can say what you want. <laughs> Hope not. It's too late now. <sighs> Uh, so Emmett, uh, we'll we'll bypass your three words to describe yourself. Um, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Oh wow! If I was a serial killer, I'd have to go uh, Dexter and go with chloroform, and then uh, do the dirty work later. Got it, Aaron. Uh, I'll go with the groat. So you just get it right behind him, and it's a little personal. I think it's a little it's a good way to go. Aaron, if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Badass motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, typically the answer for number one is re reused. Yeah, uh, let's go with never first. Emmett? Hmm, that's very esoteric. Um, I would go with don't let anybody tell you what you can or can't do. Emmett, in the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first? Or second? <laughs> Definitely first. Aaron? Emmett and I play together, so I go, I go second. <laughs> uh, Aaron, do you choose two celebrities to be your parents? Uh, this for, is the hard one. I get it. This is the difficult question yeah. of the five. For a dad, I'll, let's go with uh, Alec Baldwin. He's kind of got that mix of badass, ladies' man kind of thing, especially if you kind of go back to his old days of uh, like the getaway and stuff like that. Um, 
The mom is the difficult one, I know. Yeah, the mom is the difficult one. Because your brain right now, I can tell you what your brain's doing. Your brain is gravitating towards the celebrities. I'm and I'm, stall I'm stalling for you both so you have time. <laughs> your brain now is gravitating towards who, which celebrities you think are smoking hot. And then right. you catch yourself and you're like, wait, she's got to be my mom. I can't be yeah. that attracted to my mom because that's really weird. Oh, my God, what's going on? And so now you're, you're seeking for that celebrity who would fit to be your mom that's not the hot celebrity that you've always yeah. fantasized about. Although know. some people just gravitate there. You know, we're <laughs> not going to judge. I don't judge don't anyone's hurt. answers to the five yeah. questions. Yeah. Huh. I really don't know. All right, we'll Mom. go to Emmett. We'll let okay. you think about it a little more, Aaron. All right. We'll go to Emmett. Choose two I'd celebrities want, to be your parents. I'd want Chris Walken to be my dad, just because he's the coolest oh, guy ever. Yeah, that would be epic. And for my mom, I'd have to go with uh, Meg Ryan. Excellent. I had Fabio and Farrah Fawcett, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> for me, for me, that was. <laughs> Just want some good genes in there. Huh? I, I was yeah. Robert Downey, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. and Betty White. That's mm. a fun. Yeah, Betty White's a good one. I like that one. Um, I had the luxury of being able to think about it for a really long yeah. time before I yeah. came up with my answers yeah. because I <laughs> found these questions right, on we, the internet <laughs> and put five together to ask on the show. Three words to describe yourself. Three words to describe myself. I say um, outgoing, uh, personable, and at times a little bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Oof. Not big into, big into weapons or anything like that. Um, I don't know. That's a boring answer. A gun. <laughs> Poison. If you wrote a book about poison. Your, <laughs> po you know, it's interesting. A lot of people answer that poison. Some people say bare hands. It's interesting to hear the... Uh, the different answers to that question. But Fair gun answers. is perfectly acceptable. There's no right, right. or wrong answer, right. Jason. Right. Uh, if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? A book about myself? Oh, the Long and Winding Road. <laughs> In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? I go first. If you were to choose two celebrities to be your parents, who would they be? Two celebrities to be my parents. Yes, this is a tough one. I do admit it is, it is a tough question. I'm going to stall to give you time All to right. think about it. I, I know. I had the luxury of thinking about it when I had to come up with my answers to this question. And you got one you could go rule Paul for both. <laughs> 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 love it. Love it. <laughs> Trisexual. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Pat Riley. Wow. I like Paul. that one. And uh, just the guy's always, he's the Don. He's the godfather. He, mm -hmm. he gets things done. He's always been a winner. I, I really respect that guy. And then um, I'm going to do this one for, for my father-in-law, for Nesta Miranda. I would make my mother Sofia Vergara because he loves her. So then he could be move. Smart nice. move. Smart <laughs> move. He can always be around her. Cheers. <laughs> I can see Nesta watching Modern Family right now. <laughs> <laughs> Three words to describe yourself. Passionate, talkative, <laughs> outgoing. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Dynamite. If you were to write a book about yourself, what would the title be? Spingali. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Second. Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Colin Farrell and um, Angelina Jolie. Nice. That Angelina Jolie is That's the most fantastic. popular answer for a mom. Now, I have to tell you this. I had this revelation the other day about the dad, and I was thinking back, why has no one ever answered Chuck Norris? Because Chuck Norris would be the most epic dad ever. Alrighty, three words to describe yourself. Handsome, of course. Uh, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. I am unpretentious. I try to be, and uneducated. <laughs> if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Ah, uh, an axe. If you just oh, is one yeah okay go. Oh, so, if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? 
Um, what you see is what you get. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? A second. I don't know what that is, but I, I, because I don't know, I'll, I'll go second. It's popular in Europe. <laughs> okay. Um, so choose two celebrities to be your parents. John Candy and Dom DeLuise. Nice. Well, well they wouldn't make a very... No, that's two dads, dude. Couple. You know yeah. what? It's dads. 2015. It's totally cool. <laughs> it's, it's, fine. Fine. It's, fine. it's like twins. You know, you mix, yeah. the, mix yeah. the components it's, it's together. Right, right. Yeah. Dude, yeah, those are great choices. Great choices. Three words to describe yourself. Tall, blonde, female. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? A spoon. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Upside down. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? First, choose two celebrities to be your parents. Hmm. Can I fuck them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's pure fantasy, Robert, and it's your it's fantasy, so you yeah, can do what you have absolutely. complete creative freedom no, over your here. celebrity I'll, parents. I'll take, I'll take the question very seriously. Kathy Ireland, do you remember her? I do oh, very yeah. much so, yes. I would have her be my mother. And I would have, uh, shit, I forget this guy's name. Who's the guy from Ocean's 11, 12, 13? Like the very George Clooney? Guy. Yes, he'd be my father. George Clooney. He, he consistently has always been with a woman that looks exactly like the woman before him. He never married them until recently. They were always a different nationality, but they always looked like twins. <laughs> I think that's, that's a skill set that you want to have, right? So the only way is through genetics, and I want that. Three words to describe yourself. Um, <laughs> persistent, um, family, trust. Brandon, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Hmm. Uh, a knife. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Hmm. It would be Brandon Wilson. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Always first. Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Hmm. <laughs> Richard Pryor. Love it. And... Uh, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't think of the second. But uh, let's. I need some. Always the top. Always the top toughest one. one. Yeah. Um, hell, I, I. Madonna. There you go. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Three words to describe yourself. Uh, obsessive compulsive geek. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Wow. Uh, I'm going to go with Napalm. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Wow. These are great questions. Um, <laughs> my Mistakes. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? I'm a go first kind of guy. <laughs> Choose two celebrities to be your parents. My parents. Wow. That's a hard okay. one, I know. That's hard. I am going to go with, can they be alive or they have to be dead? Alive or dead. I'm going to go with Steve Jobs as my dad. Excellent. I am going to go with, wow, this is tough. This is really tough. The mom is everyone tough. Get, yeah, everyone, everyone gets, gets stuck, stuck on the mom. One. Yeah. Heidi Klum. There awesome. you go. Three words to describe yourself. Donkey show enthusiast. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? A spatula. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? (laughs) 
Now, you, you was, thought of I, something and you laughed, so you have to say what you were thinking of. Rolodex of, of uh, uh, porn magazine names, it was like, <laughs> like, I was laughing at all the names that were flashing in front of my face. And I was, it's too much, man. It was too much. What was the question again? <laughs> if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be, Hustler Playboy Biggins? I would like to say that a book about myself would be called Steve. <laughs> In the popular game of Ask... Wait, 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 wait. I can't... Steve! Steve. Steve. It's provocative. It's, it's provocative. It, is, it is provocative. I like it. Say, oh, what yeah, does okay. this, Steve, a, 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 a boy <laughs> making his way through the salon land of, of, of cigars. Through the cigar world as a salon, <laughs> as a sole salonist. Salon, a salon, a salon uh, enthusiast. Uh, Thanks for clearing that one up. Okay. <laughs> In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? I go, I go straight front and I go first every time. Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Uh, who is the kid? Was it Todd Bridges? In different strokes, I think so. Like, I, like everybody's lives got fucked up in that show, so it's it could be any one of them. I'm gonna go Todd Bridges, and does it have to be two? two does it have to be like nope. the, the traditional? We, absolutely form not. Of, we have we have so talked about this. I mean, I'm a smart, huh? <clears throat> two celebrities. You know, they yeah. can be alive or dead, male or female. You're. It, We're it's, very it's, progressive here. That's you're so yes. You're allowed to choose. The two celebrities to be your parents. I would like to say Todd Bridges and oh wow! No, 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 man, no, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go Mel Gibson and Danny Glover from Lethal Weapon. There you go. Excellent. As grandparents. Excellent. So, Luge, three words to describe yourself. Myself. Yourself. Oh, I got three. Hold on. It's Luge's turn. Hold on. You'll get your turn, Sean. I, no, I got three to describe him. Oh, no, no, no. That's breaking the rules. There are rules. It's not serious, yeah. but there's rules. Luge, three okay. words to describe yourself. Oh, is Goofy one of them? It, That's a word. That is a word. Yes, that is a word. Uh, sensitive. Oh, yeah. That was actually one of my words, by the way. <laughs> Passionate. Sean. Three words to describe yourself. Well, is, is type A one or two words? That's one. We'll hyphenate it. It's fine. Okay, we'll hyphenate we'll hyphenate it. it. Type A. Um, uh, type A. Um, uh, loyal uh, and uh, passionate. Sean, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? I was in the Army. Give me a machine gun. Luge, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Oh! I have a blow pipe. <laughs> <laughs> darts? Hey, He's listen. Darts? I have rapid fire blow, blow dart too. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Luge, if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? <laughs> the Journey of a Thousand Steps. Sean, if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Whoops. Sean, in the popular game of Ass Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Wait, the game of what? Ass Grabby <laughs> Grabby. It's popular in Europe. Okay, you should have prefaced popular in Europe because I've never heard of the game. What, what do you do? What do you yeah, do in that game? You, what's the it, game? It's a, you guys are too inquisitive. It's just a question. It's a completely fictitious made-up game. So. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, oh, ass Grabby Grabby? Yes. Oh, who, no, who you goes, ask Grabby Grabby. Okay, yes. Who goes yeah, first? Yeah. Me, me or the, the Grabby Grabber? Yeah. So who would – who do you want to go first or second, Sean? Uh, it's, uh, first, I'm type A. Okay. Luge, first or second in the game of Ask Grabby Grabby? Because if I grab, I don't let go. <laughs> Second. <laughs> <laughs> Luge, choose two celebrities to be your parents. My parents? Yes. Oh, boy. This is a tough one. I know. Woo. The rules are pretty loose on this one. They can be alive okay. or dead. Who? Who's that? They're, they're dead now, though. That's okay. Alive or dead, male or female. Just choose two celebrities to be your parents. 
One male, one female? It doesn't matter. This is, you know, it's a new world. It's a new world. It can be two females. It can be two males. It can be male, female, alive or dead. Wow. I was going to say Cary Grant. Ooh, sure. And uh, the second will probably be Ella Fitzgerald. <clears throat> Sean? Heather, Heather Locklear and Nicole Kidman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> okay. It's an easy question for Sean. Three words to describe yourself. Uh, I am a fun-loving teddy bear. Is that four words? That's yeah, uh, You know what? I'll let it slide. <laughs> I'm playing five questions. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? A torch lighter. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Lucky. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Is that like Rochambeau? So I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I prefer to go first. <laughs> Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Two celebrities to be my parents. It would be uh, uh, Bradley Cooper and uh, Scarlett Johansson. There you go. Nice. Hey, good, Jack. So, Tony, three words to describe yourself. Ooh. Drunk. <laughs> Honest. And insane. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Just one weapon, or is it this is a three-part question again? Uh, no, this is just, you just one, one weapon. I like that uh, that old school garrote wire with the handles on it, where nice. you come up behind somebody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Drunk, honest, insane. I love I love when the answer to number one is the same answer to number three. It's great. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? I don't know what game that is. I think it's when you probably play with Robert, but I could be. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Oh. I, <laughs> it's popular in Europe. It's very popular in Europe. Ask Grabby Grabby. And what was the end of the question? What do I like to do first? Yeah, well, would, would you prefer to go first or second in the game of Ask Grabby Grabby? I mean, I'm always going to go first. I don't, want, I don't know what it is, but I'm not going sloppy seconds on anything. <laughs> <laughs> choose, <laughs> I don't uh, care what it is. Tony, choose two celebrities to be your parents. To be my parents. I would say Clooney and his new wife. Who's Not because name? she's hot. She, he actually got married, but because they live in Lake Cuomo, Italy. George Clooney is she's, a popular, <laughs> popular answer. Somewhat popular. He looks like he'd, he'd be a good dad. He looks like he'd be a fun dad. I don't I'm trying hey. to think of who else. I, I don't know about Brad. I wouldn't want Brad Pitt as my dad. Sure I want would. him as my buddy. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie is the most popular answer to that question, Tony. Really? There, I don't know what it is. There's something motherly and fatherly, the good looks. I, I don't know. I yeah, don't but know. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want my mom to be Angelina Jolie. You don't want to be that attracted to your mom. I understand. It's like a Freudian yeah. thing. It's a, very, yeah. it's a, deep, it's a deeper, it's a deeper question than it seems so on the surface. Right, right. <laughs> awesome. Three words to describe yourself. Tall, dark, and handsome, man. <laughs> if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Aha. Uh -huh. I like this one. Obama speeches. <laughs> <laughs> if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Oh. Uh... Betting on a spitting contest. I don't know, man. <laughs> In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? A what game? <laughs> it's called Ask Grabby Grabby. It's popular in Europe. <laughs> uh, sure. I'll grab somebody's ass first before I grab mine. There you go. <laughs> Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Oh, man. Howard Hughes. and uh, <laughs> who else? Howard Hughes, by the way, is my, my absolute favorite. Tell you what, Howard Hughes and Elvis Presley. There you go. That's fine. 
Now that it's legal <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, exactly. We don't judge. <laughs> That's it. Three words to describe yourself. In the cut. Uh, if you were to write a book about yourself, what would the title be? Pay me now, motherfucker. <laughs> if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Oh, I would beat them to death with Coop's fucking dead body. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. In right. the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first well, or second? I, wait, wait, wait. First, we'd have to stuff his original document <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> there you go. Wait till the rubber match. Wait till the rubber match. <laughs> now, if anything happens to the guy, the police are going to come looking for me. That's fucked up. So don't crash. All right. <laughs> so, what? Jonathan, in the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Never played that shit. It's popular in Europe. Yeah, you go fucking fuck with it in Japan or something. I don't okay. fuck with that shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, choose two celebrities to be your parents. I wouldn't trade my parents for, for nothing, not for Jesus Christ himself. Good answer. Who's Good your answer. favorite um, rap star of all time? Phil Zengi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get the same thing? Yeah! I, I heard. Debbie I heard. Debbie I heard Debbie one of your previous. I heard one of your previous interviews, Jonathan. I know you have to go, but I really want to talk with you. We'll have to hook up some other time, dude. I'm a huge fan of rap music, dude. Uh, and you seemed like you were kind of there in New York on the scene and everything, and I think that's really cool. And I get strange looks when I'm playing rap music really loud all over the place. People are like, why is that old dude listening to Biggie? <laughs> uh, three words to describe yourself. Three words. Uh, passionate, uh, sensitive, oversensitive, and uh, self-demanding. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Oh my goodness. I am so scared of that. No, I, they, the questions get more I ridiculous. I a blanket on the person I run away. <laughs> that, that, that is so odd. <laughs> the questions get more ridiculous, Emma, just to give you a fair warning. Uh, Emma, I'm sorry. You, I'm, 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 that's okay. That's if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? A title of a book about myself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's, that's not easy. Um... I would say I don't have roots, I have wings. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? I remember you asked Jose that. Yes, we blasted. did. Good. Okay, I'm glad um, you remember that. I have normally, no idea what Ask Grabby Grabby is. Yeah, no, so normally I, this is where I say it's popular in Europe, but see, what? you would see right through my lie that it's popular <laughs> in Europe, so. Um, That's brilliant. Not what I know of. So, um, to be safe, I would say I would go second. Okay. Choose, uh, choose two celebrities to be your parents. Two celebrities to be my parents. Alive or dead? Doesn't matter. My mother would be Coco Chanel. My father... Ay, ay, ay. Who would my father be? It's funny. I got Coco Chanel right away. It, it is funny when I ask males this question. the The dad comes quicker as an answer than the mom. Well, Coco Chanel would be my mom. Yeah, see, there you go. Um, the and father would definitely not be opposite. designer. So the father would be Sean Connery. Oh, good answer. I good like answer. Mario, three words to describe yourself. Oh, you broke up. Three words to describe what? Three words to describe yourself. Oh. Bold, I'd say hardworking. So that's three words right there. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Jay? Same question? Same question. Uh, intelligent? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, Romario, there is right. no right or wrong answer to these questions. <laughs> I <laughs> can Intelligent, hard worker, I'll make that one word, and of course a word that I made up for myself, which is butimus. <clears throat> butimus, I like it. Jay, That's not your first word. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Serial killer. Uh, bazooka. Oh, that's a good one. Romario? I had that I'm more of a hands-on guy. I'd probably just use these two. 
There you so. go. <laughs> Romario, if you were to write a book about yourself, what would the title be? Wow. Uh, definitely would be something about uh, probably from the, I, I wouldn't say the bottom, but I, I'm from Mississippi a place where there aren't many opportunities afforded to people um, in the professional world. And having come from there, you know, through football to just being able to sit here with Jay and be part owner of a cigar company, it would have to be something like from the bottom to the top, from rags to riches. You know, I didn't necessarily come from rags, but um, something to that effect. Okay. I never thought about that, but that, that it will be something to that effect. I thought you were going to say bald, barehanded serial killer, but, you know. Hey, no way it's too. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, what would the title of your book be? Uh, probably Life and Times of Jay the Butimus. <laughs> there you go. Jay, in the popular game of Ass Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? What was that? <laughs> in the popular game of Ass Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Uh, I'll take sloppy seconds. <laughs> Romario? <laughs> Never played that game. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's popular in Europe. Popular in Europe, okay. He would, he would go first, definitely. Uh, I don't understand the game, but so, you know, <laughs> ass grabby grabby. <laughs> Explain it. Now, how does the game work? It's completely fictitious and made up. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people email me afterwards. They've been on the show. They're like, I searched on Google for that Ask Grabby Grabby game, and I, I can't find it anywhere. Like That's because we made it up. Actually, we stole it, we stole it from somewhere. <laughs> Romario, choose two celebrities to be your parents. Okay, uh, celebrities to be my parents. Now, you know, I'm from the music industry, so I have a love-hate relationship with most celebrities. There you go. But who I think would be a good father? Um, believe it or not, I like Jerry Jones, the Dallas Cowboys owner. <clears throat> okay. Oprah Winfrey. There you go. Jay? Uh, how about Al Pacino and uh, Heather Locklear? There you go. I'm always got a crush on her. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell from that answer. This guy has issues. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it speaks volumes to answer to that question. Yes. <laughs> you ready for the five questions? Yeah, I'm ready. Is this like... Wham bam, the five quick questions. This I is like the five, the five quick questions. Okay. So you good. haven't listened to you don't you don't know what the questions are. We're going in this like totally All right. totally blind. So three words to describe yourself. Um uh tenacious, driven, and um wacky. Well, we go wacky. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Mm. Banana. Interesting. If you'd write a book about yourself, what would the title be? Uh, never give up. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Always first. <laughs> Choose two <laughs> celebrities to be your parents. Um, well, that's a good one. Uh, that's, a t that's the toughest. I think that's, that's the toughest, toughest question. One. Yeah. yeah, that is a tough Most one. people get the dad. You know, uh, they're like, you know, dad, so I dad, got Dad, I'm going to go But like mom, you start thinking like. Ah, like who am I attracted to? Like who's hot? Yeah, but then like, you don't want that. And then you're like, "Wow, well, it's got to be my mom." Crap, I need to like not think that. <laughs> yeah. and, like, like guys like can't yeah. can't can't think. can't separate. Yeah, yeah. can't. Yeah, so most tough. people say I look like a cross between uh, James Gandolfini and B. Arthur. So I'm going to go with that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I didn't pick up on this. So. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be my choice. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I get that a lot. Though, so I'm like, yes. that's good. <laughs> Three words to describe yourself. Ooh. Five? Three words? Three words to describe yourself. Uh, boy, that's a toughie. Um, passionate? Uh, lunatic? 
and dreamer, I would say. A passionate lunatic dreamer. Excellent. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? A bench vice. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Defiant. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? I've never even heard of Ask Grabby Grabby. It's popular in Europe. It's, oh, boy. I'm going to pass on that one. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like a multiple choice, first or second. I'll go first. <laughs> okay. Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Two celebrities. Does that's, it have to be the actual one. actor or a role they played? It doesn't matter. You have complete creative freedom, alive or dead. Han Two Solo and Princess Leia. There you go. I love. You go. See, Star Wars fan. With this one person in studio who will remain nameless, Chris, that has not watched Star Wars. Who? <laughs> Chris. <laughs> and we give him crap for that all the That's time. That's punishable by Rhode Island law. I think it? so. He wasn't we're, alive when Will, it came out. He wasn't alive when he now came Will, out. Now, Will, you've seen Star Wars, right? I have seen Star Wars. There you I, go. I, I used to have a Han Solo figure, and I used to freeze him when I was a kid. In the, fr- in the freezer? <laughs> in the freezer, yeah. I had the active figures, and I used to take them, and I'd freeze them in a, like a margarine. Container. That's fantastic. You, ever- you know, there's Han Solo ice cube trays. <laughs> yes. I just found that out yesterday. Have you seen the door? No. It's like a thing you can stick on your door, and it looks like Han Solo frozen in the carbonite. I thought that was pretty cool. That's fantastic. All right. Three words to describe yourself. Big, fat, and ugly. Uh, If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Oh, good God. (laughs) Uh, A 7 by 70. Nice. (laughs) Nice. Nice. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Wow. What would the title be? Let's see. Um, That, that's a tough one. I think it would have to be something along the lines of, uh, uh, I, I think the book would have to be post, uh, post my death, so <laughs> I'm not put in prison for anything. So <laughs> let, let, let's see, postpartum, let's just call it uh, something along those lines, after <laughs> death. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? <laughs> I've never played that game, but uh, let's say first. Why not? All right. Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Uh, Brad Pitt and Angela Jolie. Wow, you got that one right away. Hey, wow. That's sick. <laughs> Three words to describe yourself. Is overweight two or one? Um, whatever you want it to be. You pick. <laughs> Uh, uh, passionate, good father, um, cigar lover. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Oh, that's a great question. What a great question. I'm not sure. Uh, that, that, I, uh, you got to think about that one. That's a good one. Um, I don't know, something ex- like exotic from the... The Middle Ages, you know, like that that ball with the spikes and then the the nice. handle yes. and stuff, yeah. like, something yeah. like that. You gotta I, get creative with it. You can't. It can't just be a knife or something or a gun. That's just that's no fun. You gotta really like, if you, if you're gonna throw your life away and be a heinous individual, you might as well do it with some, some creativity. Eric, I've heard everything. The answers to that question have ranged from mashed potatoes to poison. So just, you know. Mashed potatoes. That's brilliant. I like that one, too. (laughs) Eric, if you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Uh, It'd be a pamphlet because I certainly wouldn't write about myself. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Wow. Another interesting question. The game of Ask Grabby Grabby. Well, at 42 and being married for for, uh, for quite a long time, I'm not, I haven't played Ask Grabby Grabby in a long time, but I'd go second. <laughs> he, he's one of the few people who heard of the game. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He's like, oh, yeah, I know that game. Uh, Eric, choose two celebrities to be your parents. Um, I have them. I have celebrity parents, so I'm in. I'm all That's done. awesome. The binder and the filler just didn't meld well with the wrapper, in my mm-hmm. opinion. 
and it's because I could get some of that like sweetness off the wrapper, but it was hard to pick out from kind of those more bold flavors that it had in the filler. What are the what's the combination they're using? Did they say with the Dude, filler? What's the what's the fill- you wrote this up in your blog, Will? I don't know if you have it handy, but what's oh, the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. What the fuck? Stogie said just lost his cigar. How do you lose his cigar? I don't I mean I can see losing your phone. Don't they start Santa Claus? The guy oh, with the hair on his jaw. No, 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 no. How the me? fuck? Don't lost his cigar? He did. The guy the with the bone. He's going to roll over it with his chair soon, too. No, I don't want to roll over it. It's fucking. <laughs> How the fuck are we Hopefully we're not all on Did you leave it in the right ashtray in the bathroom? You just no, went to the bathroom? No, he rested from my shoes. You can't. It was right here. You cocks. Come on. Give me a cigar. The production is it. Don't play with me like this. I did no I, I left it right there. <laughs> <laughs> he burned the, you burned the tablecloth with it. It left evidence. <laughs> I know. Dios mio. Uh, this is uh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> How did you lose it? It must have rolled that way. <laughs> I had to. I had to roll this I, way. I got my shoes off. I'm going to burn my feet you stepped now. On, you burn you got your four feet. people in the studio looking for his... <laughs> no, it's not there. It's not anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's called magic. That's oh, all. <laughs> FM. <laughs> fucking magic. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I can find it. <laughs> I got... I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got my little pony underneath my seat. <laughs> <laughs> I got this fucking thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want that cigar. <laughs> the Fiji water is really hitting right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the hell? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> I'm pissed. It's next. I have no sense. Of, this ain't funny. <laughs> I can All right. Dude, it's really that funny. Is, no, it's not. That is unbelievable. <laughs> okay, next. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> gone. It's legitimately gone. <laughs> no, That's uh, a fast burner you had there. It didn't roll behind you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm dead serious. Is uh, it in your seat? Oh, God. No. <laughs> I, if I sat on the floor. There it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. It's in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> And that, you're, uh, that, and there you have an ass press cigar. And, <laughs> and look at, and it's oh, still God. smoking. Hey, right there. I, I don't know if this that's a good thing. This is better than the beach story, ain't it? <laughs> see, you know, see, Nick. So everybody really liked the Villiger. Is that All right, what you're right, right. <laughs> Let's get back to Villiger. Yeah. yeah uh, to answer the question, <laughs> it's, uh, it's Nicaraguan <laughs> binder filler. Okay, all it's Nicaraguan filler. <laughs> And Connecticut shade. Who gives in a shit? In Connecticut, in Connecticut, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, we told you no, this was going to get yeah, interesting. I told you. Oh man! How many cigars can you sit on, <laughs> relight it, and taste like hey, fucking oh, gold? Do uh, we take live calls that? on this show? <laughs> that would, oh, this that would make it really interesting. This has got to go in the montage. Oh my this God! Segment. Four-year anniversary segment. Oh this my god! It does. I tell you, I'm this never like, P- I can't believe people actually pay money for like a shrink because this is like my therapy too. Like that just relieves so much stress. Yeah. <laughs> Laughing that oh part. So shrink your. I could sw- I, I was pissed. This fucking <laughs> cigar is smoking <laughs> great. <laughs> Laughter is the best. That's not funny. Oh hey, my god. I did it. Holy this shit. is a, a new Stogie Geeks rating. I'd sit on it and then yeah. smoke it. No, no, no. no. Throw, no, it no. Throw it up the bolts. It's, uh, it's ass worthy. It's <laughs> ass worthy. <laughs> 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 this, <laughs> this is a two cheeks of guy. All right, oh, well, bring us, bring, us, bring us back. We'll Holy talk about shit, your next cigar. Two burnt. Come on.